Hello and welcome to Let's Talk. So I am continuing my series on favorite reads. Um, I am sharing with you some of my favorite books. So I talked to you about um, the book called Three Daughters last week, but this week I gotta talk to you about this book. It's called Cutting for Stone by Abraham Verghese. And let me tell you, this is the best book I have ever read. Definitely. The best book. Um, I read this book a while ago and I'm actually rereading it again, but it was such, such, such a good book. Like, oh, I couldn't believe it. I told everybody, okay, this is definitely my favorite book of all the books that I have ever read, believe it or not. So you definitely, definitely got to read this one. So anyway, uh, the story is called Cutting for Stone, like I said, and it's by Abraham Verghese. So most of the story actually takes place in Ethiopia during the time of colonialism. So you're going to hear and see a lot of different uh, people in the background, the different cultures kind of mixing together um, during that time. So it follows the story of these conjoined twins named uh, Marion and Shiva Stone who are actually born in an Ethiopian hospital that is run by their father, who is a brilliant surgeon, hands down. Nobody argues that he is the best surgeon that there is at that time in at that hospital um, called uh, Mission Hospital, but everybody calls it Missing Hospital because they couldn't really pronounce the name. So anyway, the hospital is run by the father and um, their mother is actually a nun yes a nun that to me is what drove the story forward i had to find out how did this nun end up pregnant and no one knew about it nobody finds out until she is almost uh she's in childbirth and um uh, you know at the point of death trying to have these two children so anyway i am going to give some spoiler alerts because i just got to tell you about the parts that i really really love about this um book so the nun is pregnant nobody knows by whom not even the father knows by whom um so everybody's trying to figure out okay how did one how did she get pregnant how is it that nobody knew she was pregnant how is it that she's getting ready to give birth and um, uh, Dr. Stone, he who's that great physician, um, when he finds out, um, he's shocked. He, he doesn't understand. And he finds out that he has been in love with her uh, for a long time. They have worked together. He only wanted to work with her because he felt like they were hand in glove. She knew, she anticipated his moves during surgery. He absolutely loved her. And it completely devastated him when he walks in there into the same operating room where they work together and she's laying on the table at the point of death. So anyway, throughout the story, I'm trying to find out, okay, how, who, what, how did she get pregnant? Um, and um, so it follows the story that the two, she ends up having conjoined twins. Um, one, uh, one of the boys' name is Marion and the other one is named Shiva. And the head nurse is actually the one who delivers them and actually separates them because they were only joined by a small web at the head, I believe. And um, she takes them in, she adopts them, and she takes them to America where they actually end up having different trials and tribulations and you get to see the different um you know some of the trouble that um one of the brothers tends to get into but marion is so like dissatisfied that he feels that he has to go back to Addis Ababa in Ethiopia and find out about his father, find out about his mother and see what how did he get there, what's going on. The other thing I loved about this is uh, the backdrop of, you know, the places, how they're described are wonderful. 
the depth of the characters, um, the characters are developed so well, so well. And the main thing is the, the layers of the story. So this story is just, it's not a flat story. It's like layer upon layer upon layer upon layer. It is a long book. I'm going to warn you. I believe it's close to 800 pages. Yes, but it is a page turner. You're going to keep turning the pages because it's so, 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 so good. So if you get the opportunity, you must add to your reading list, Cutting for Stone. You will not be disappointed. Cutting for Stone by Abraham Verghese. The man is a phenomenal storyteller. Storyteller. He just wrote another book that's on Oprah's list, which I can't wait to start. So I've already purchased it. I downloaded it and I'm going to be ready to read it when I get on that plane. So again, if you get a chance, put it on your bucket list. Read Cutting for Stone. I believe it's the best book I have ever read and it may just become one of your favorites. So anyway, thank you for joining me on Let's Talk. So come back next week when I tell you about another book uh, that I absolutely love. Bye-bye.